Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, we successfully installed that Laravel, right? So now everything is worked perfectly and that is our environment server. Server is now running. So if you run, want to run this server here, always you have to do, you have to run it by the PHP artisan serve. Then that will be actually started one of the Laravel development server and that is our server port. That is one of the default port, okay? Which is totally fine. In this video, I want to discuss about that file structure, which is very important. Literally every part here, I will actually work in particular that folder area. So first of all, in this video, I want to discuss about that file structure. Into this file structure, first of all, that is one of the package JSON. Okay, there is a package JSON and there is our composer JSON. So into this composer JSON, you will get everything. Right now, we are using that Laravel framework 9.2. And also, there is a packages. Whatever the packages you will be installed, all that your packages you will get in particular that area and that is one of the dependency and into the dependency area it's automatically that will be loaded okay and after that 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 one of the dot env file dot env file is used for creating that connection with your database here you have to you add your database name you have to add your database username password so everything actually will be very clear because we will do a lot of work in particular that area and also if you want to add that your mailing function that is the mailing function area okay here we have to do you have to add your smtp mailer that is smtp host there is a mail port okay there is a mail username so literally i will also discuss about that things with you here with this we can actually configure our email we can configure our database connection and now first of all if you go to the our app and into this app that is one of the http and into this http that is a controller so you will get all that your controller in here when you create new controller you all that your controller will be saved in particular that area that is the by default some of the middleware what exactly that middleware how can create some of the middleware i will also discuss about that things with you so with this middleware you can create some of the permission so with this controller you can control your model and then view file okay so that is our http you will get that things in our http folder there is a controller middleware and that is the models okay when you create some of the database all that our we have to do have to create that model in particular that area by this model we'll create one of the database table okay i will show you that things later and that is some of the by default provider and then the bootstrap is not needed and if you go to that configure and with this configure there is some of the app configuration there is a catch databases locking mail so that is all the default file okay here there is one of the auth php and if you want to create some of the guards you can actually create that guard from to this area okay so that is our config folder and that is a database when you create any migration file all that your migration table will be saved in here there is a migrations by default they have some of the migration table as a user password reset and create fail job and create personal access token everything will be needed literally we'll create some of the database table so all that your migration table will be saved in here so for right now friends simply remember it all that your migration will be saved in your database and into this database that is a migrations folder okay and then that is a public folder public folder means if you want to add some of the themes if you into this themes area they have some of the css some of the jss all that images everything you have to save it in particular that public folder okay the, all that means all that your css images jss everything will be saved in particular our public folder that will be very important and that is a resource and with this resource there is a view that is the one of the most important part because in our in this project we'll use that mbc pattern framework mbc pattern means that we need that controller we need that model and also there is a view okay friends simply understand it where exactly that file location because that will be very much important all that our controller will create into this controller area and when you deal with the database all that our database related table will create in particular models area and then if you want to display all that your page that means that is actually our view page right and you can see everything actually in our resources into the resources that is a views and that is one of the views page as a welcome blade dot php and blade dot php is one of the extension of the laravel when you use that as a blade dot php you are able to add some of the syntax later i will also show you that things with you the live example and then that is a route 
is very important one of the part and into this route they have the two type of route one is the api another is the web when you create some of the api then you have to create all that your api route in particular api.php rather than the web.php so that will be one of the web application for the reasons we will actually create um, add all that our routes in our web.php area okay and here by default one of the route when you install that laravel laravel by default provided one of the route as a slash route that means that is for our home so into this home area you can see it's now written one of the view file and our view file name as a welcome and if you go to our resources and into the views you can see that is one of the file as a welcome blade so by default our this view page is loaded okay you can see that is one of the view page and that is the view page is now loaded in here if you want to like change it i want to do and to add some of the text okay i want to add some of the text in here so that is our total file uh, like that is our body okay that is our body and that is our authenticated and so that is a default file if you want to make it as a clean i simply select all and now click as a delete so now that is totally empty if you now click as a save all now that should be as empty now click as a refresh now you can see it's not totally gone that means uh, I hope you get some of the idea that is our welcome blade <laughs> is now loaded I click as a save all again now that should be also display again yeah it's not display by default that is our route okay from to the route you can actually create that your you, you can load your file that is our home directory for the home directory it will be written on the view page as a welcome and that is our view page you will get it from to the resources views and page don't worry friend we will do a lot of work in particular individual all that folder everything will be very much clear to you okay we'll do a lot of work in here we'll create one of the total complete project okay how can do this work step by step i will show you everything with the live example as i told you friend in this project we'll use that mvc pattern an mbc means the model view and then controller so what exactly that mbc in our next video i will discuss about that things with you so thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.